tonight that he's thinking to take it slow and easy. Chase off to the left. They looked that way, but been underneath to Tyler Boyd, who is underrated, so overlooked in his career. Picks up about eight. Rams front has been pretty stout on these third and short situations. Burrow looking to throw for it across the middle. And again, it's Tyler Boyd. And he's got two catches and moves the ball to the 46. Burrow flips it underneath to Charlie Jones and the rookie from Purdue knocked down right near the marker by Darian Ken makes it on second and ten shows that power picks up about seven the third and three got a nice block there from Alex well within his range on the way and missed it after the Rams take over in great field position at the 45 crowd trying to make some noise Stanford right across the middle and the catch is made by Tyler Higby. Second and four, Stafford across the middle. He fits it into a tight space, and that is the talk of the NFL so far through two weeks. Puka Nakua, the rookie. For On the end around, it's 2-2 Atwell flashing the speed, and 2-2 makes a cut and tight ropes down the sidelines. Touchdown! It's the guy who can just flip the field in a heartbeat and you see why they're so excited by him in L.A. From that angle, it looks like potentially a touch. We can see cleanly from the other angle that the foot did not hit the paint. Nakua in motion. Stafford back paddling. He'll take a sack. Brought down by Big D.J. Reader. A huge play for this Bengals defense. Four-man rush. Stafford. Steps up on the move, incomplete. Low throw again, looking for Kyron Wood for a 30-yard chip shot. Looks like Atwell had given the Rams a touchdown lead. Replay reverses it. All distribution and getting those guys in the middle of the field. Burrow throws it down to the tight end Tanner Hudson. Laura, how do youth back there? On third and four. Burrow's pass. Finally gets to chase. It looked like possibly it was touched at the line. It kind of floated out there. 8 of 11 for 53 so far for Burrow. And he flip it across, and there is Jamar Chase. Rams came up aggressively. Chase found a little space and gets out near mid. Just trying to find ways to get him open. Long throw sideline, and Chase goes up and makes the catch in front of Kella Withers. Tough crowd here. Already some booing the execution of this offense. Burrow retreats and misfires. Drives it through. Not let him go off like he has for the first two weeks. Stafford on the move and flips it right on cue to Puka Nuku. Goes down and makes a hands catch. Across the middle again. Ball moves the ball into the Cincy territory. Tyler Hick. Stafford on a deep drop. Chucks it downfield and finds Tutu Atwell. And Atwell speeds out of bounds down near the 10. Beat Dax Hill to safety. Barreling down to the five yard line. They, they actually do. First down marker at the two. Atwell comes in motion. Stafford has time across the middle, off the hands of Atwell on the back line and incomplete. Chosen not to this so far in this game. We're down to the two before, settled for three. Got as close as the five here. Tight end sample is in there to block. Burrow gets it out along the sidelines and the catch is made. It's a first down. Chase went down and got it in front of Kendrick. For sure, swallows him up. Sack for the first time. Guess who? Aaron Donald got home. Him up and then arm over inside. Whoop! See you later. He splits it. Karras can't get over there fast enough. Look, that's why you're looking at someone who's a short fire, first ballot Hall of Famer, three-time defensive MVP, has been all pro every single year. They flip it to Williams on the edge, and he is tracked down and dropped by Dax Hill. The second year man of Michigan invades the backfield. Pressure immediately. Stafford on the move. Navigated around but threw it into traffic and it's intercepted. 
Logan Wilson, the elite middle linebacker. Ooh, did it oh, touch the, the ground? This may come off. This may be a another replay review. Yeah, I think that one's going to be nullified. Yeah, it looks like it moves as it hits the ground as well. That's close. Bengals trying to cash that in, and Burrow takes his first downfield shot. Higgins goes up, grabs it. A flag is down. Witherspoon was in coverage. Start game. Down. <laughs> Burrow again looping it down the sidelines over the head of Higgins as we check in with Scott Van Pelt. Hey, Scott. Williams makes a cut and he's spun down across the 17. You wonder, long two minute drive here. Atwell, or the, uh, the coup actually makes the. Here comes pressure, Stafford's leveled. Dex Hill, the safety, came off the edge and hammered the veteran quarterback. A little bit of it all. We've seen him in multiple roles, covering tight ends, covering wide receivers in the slot. You see him trigger against the run now. He sends him on a blitz. Look, he said, I got to get my secondary guys going. We haven't tackled well so far through the first two weeks of the season. He talked about Mike Hilton in particular, a guy who he wanted to send on some blitzes and get him involved early. Out to the far side, high throw, and Chase goes up and makes the catch in front of Witherspoon. Just still looking for that first big play of the season. Burrow has time across the middle, and he finds tight end, and he's knocked down at the 25. Tanner Hudson has made an impact tonight since being activated off the practice. Bottom of the screen, if he comes down, he's going to go one on one. They run a game up front, and they get him. That's the one thing you cannot do if you're Burrow and the Bengals and take a sack. Tie the game at the break. Right down the middle. Pressure picked up across the middle, and they lofted to the tight end, Tyler Higby, who is out near midfield. That's Atwell in motion. Stafford flips it back this way for Kyron Williams, who gets a block. Williams makes a man miss and weaves down inside the Bengals 40 before Logan Wilson got him. Williams squirts through a hole, takes a big hit from Awuzie. But knocked down, it's a solid. Bengals rush four, Stafford pump fakes and now checks it down, bobbled and almost intercepted. It was out of the hands of Williams. He's off to the right of Stafford. Runs an in-cutting route, but Stafford can't get there because Trey Hendrickson wraps him up. Two for two, now three for three. In the red zone, guys, Stafford 0 for 5 passing and a couple of sacks. Mixon makes a cut, and Mixon barrels into the secondary. His best run tonight out near the 40. He's the back. Burrow from the pocket delivers a strike. Chase has it. That's the most space he's had tonight, and he's got the first down to the Rams 44. Chase and Higgins off to the left. Burrow looking that direction. It's a slant. Chase goes back behind him and makes a terrific catch, and the Bengals pick up the first down. Second and ten, they flip it short, Higgins has space, makes a cut, and slides down at the 17. Mixon makes a cut, Joe Mixon! Tonight's first touchdown, and the Bengals go on top. Cincinnati, thinking must win tonight, now lead by four. They've been on their feet all night. Stafford wants to take a shot and launches downfield for Van Jefferson, who makes the catch all the way down to the 30-yard line. Rams quickly back to work. Ball tipped and intercepted. It was deflected on the line, and Logan Wilson has come up with his second pick tonight. Deflected by Mike Hilton, the nickelback. You see right here. 
Mike Hilton with the hand up. Logan Wilson, huge play. And it's high over the outreach arm of T. Higgins. He's to contribute, just two carries in the young season. Fake it to him, Burrow on the move, lofting downfield, and Chase has got it! Jamar Chase has arrived finally as a playmaker in 2023. Burrow. Oh, tough night for T. Higgins. Make him throw it to somebody else. Trying to scramble and flips it short, incomplete. Make it a seven point lead. And it doinks through. <laughs> Mixon turns downhill and muscles forward. They continue to push the pile. It's a first down out at the 40. One on one with number one right now. Burrow looking back to the left and flips it underneath. And the catch is made for a first down. Chase far left, now comes motion. Comes a crossing route. Burrow doesn't look that way. Instead flips it back to Drew Sample. And boom, the big fella knocked down at the... Mixon makes a cut. Fights. Second effort earns him the first down. So the 10th play of this drive. Burrow off the play fake. Throws a dart downfield, and it's intercepted. Witherspoon comes up with a pick. The first for the Rams. This season, he just took the ball away from Tyler Boyd. Why did the Rams need that takeaway of this season? And that Look was an enormous one. One-handed. That's as good as it gets. Mm. Saffer will be swallowed up right on cue. It is... Trey Henriksen perpendicular to the line of scrimmage and it's over. I'm flattening down the line of scrimmage. It's over. Almost impossible third and 18 for an offense that hasn't converted on third down all night. Stafford just running around trying to survive. Is dragged to the ground. Gets it out to Kyron Williams who goes out and makes the catch. It will be stopped short of the first step. Great effort. Came very close but was the need to down. Nowhere for Mixon to run off the edge. Bayer Maria initially blew it up, and then Michael Hoyt got him. There he goes. Chase makes the catch and jumps up to the 35-yard line. The man lined up off of him came him after the uh, passer. A busy Evan McPherson out again. This is from 54. He's just lived in this place on the field. His long-range field goal attempts, and he's going to make it for for five tonight. He very nearly scored on, but that's really been it. He's been held in check. Instead, they flip it down to the tight end, Higby, and he's wrestled down. Clock moving. It's a first down. For the Bengals, you just want to keep them in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. Don't let them work the sidelines. Keep them in bounds. Oh, Atwell makes the catch, and a flag comes in. Cam Taylor. The rip. Across the middle. It's a sidearm pitch. It's incomplete. Ball hits the ground. Jalen Davis was. Pressure again. Stafford steps up. It's a run by the quarterback. Not exactly what you expected, but it's exactly what does. I thought, Chris. <laughs> Line up quickly. Stafford steps up and goes down. That time it was Sam Hubbard joining the sack party. Stafford again tries to scramble and now launches downfield and wide open is Puka Nakua. They've been doing a great job keeping him in check on the short route since the first half. Stafford on the move and no chance there. Atwell emotions of that side as well. They throw to the left. Tutu's got it. Touchdown, L.A. And the Rams still have life with 103. You can just see it in the back end as 2-2 goes in motion. You see Cam Taylor-Britt. You see them all. 
saying, look, we have to bump that out. We have to make sure that we don't get out leveraged. And when you have miscommunication in the red area, it's always six. And it kind of rolls along the ground, and it is gobbled up by Mitchell Wilcox, the tight end. That didn't really do what Mar hoped it would do. Case scenario for the Bengals tonight was, one, somehow win, check, two, there was no major retweaking of that injury for Joe Burrow. As far as we know, check, another win. So this was the best case scenario for them.